Hello everyone and welcome back to the studio. Today we will be tackling the topic of vibrato and answering three important questions. One, what is vibrato? Two, when and how do you use it? And three, is it something that can be learned or do you have to be born with it? Let's dive right in. So first, in order to understand what vibrato is, we need to define some terms. We also need to understand what straight tone is. Straight tone is when you sing a sustained pitch with no variation. It sounds like this. Ha. Vibrato is when you come in and bend the pitch slightly. It sounds like this. Ha. Notice that it's a bent pitch and not a change in pitch. We're not changing the note that we're singing, rather we are fluctuating around that note. When would you use vibrato? Vibrato is used primarily as a stylistic element. You see it often in classical genres as well as music theater, sometimes in pop and rock as well. That doesn't mean that it's confined to those genres, that's just when you will see it used the most. Because vibrato is a stylistic technique, we can choose to turn it on and off at will. We can flip between using straight tone and vibrato depending on what style we're singing, what song we're singing. Now, it is a technique, so that means that it can be learned. It's not just something you have to be born with. That being said, some people experience vibrato a little bit more easily than others. For others, it may take a little bit more work. Now, that's usually a sign of two things. One, your breath control, and two, tension control. Vibrato requires a lot of freedom in the voice in order to be done well or at all. Also, it requires that nice core engagement of breathing deep into the low stomach so that we have enough um, stamina to push against that tone for it to come freely. Sometimes you'll hear singers kind of fade off into breath because it's a little bit easier, especially for beginning singers when they're learning how to end a phrase. And it'll sound like this. Now when we end a phrase, that's where we would naturally put the vibrato. And if we land on the breath, we're not going to have any tone in order to lengthen out that vibrato. So sometimes if you find you're a little bit breathy, you may be also struggling with vibrato. Check your breathing. Also practice singing sustained tones over maybe four, six, and eight beats, making sure that you are ending the tone as strongly as you began. Now another thing could be tension. Vibrato again takes a lot of freedom in the larynx, in the back of the throat, and in the jaw. So as you're practicing your songs, sing on a very lazy, loose vowels. Even use that during warm-ups. Sometimes even massaging the jaw while you're singing is very helpful. Having everything nice and open, and relaxed will encourage that vibrato. There are some exercises that can be done to develop the vibrato if it's something that maybe you are searching for that you've never experienced before. This is a personal favorite. It's me and it's sung between two pitches. So we'll start off slow first and it's gonna go me. We're gonna do that to the low end of our range all the way to the high end of our range. Sometimes people experience that it's easier for vibrato to come in the low voice and sometimes it's easier for people in the head voice. So we really want to make sure that we are practicing both ends of our range as we are developing that vibrato. Now maybe you stick with that speed for a week, two weeks. As you get a little bit more confident, as you get more relaxed and that breath control, then we'll start to speed it up. And then we'll speed it up and speed it up all the way until it becomes that nice Ah, cyclical smooth vibrato. Sometimes people often experience that they have vibrato but it's not smooth and that's when you'll notice a little bump in the road so it'll sound something like ah, and they can't get it quite smooth. That's also another indicator of tension and breath control. So if that sounds like something you struggle with, pull back to straight tone, make sure that you have that breath underneath and that everything is nice and relaxed, and then start adding back in the vibrato and use that warm up with the me. I hope you found that helpful. As always, subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Gabrielle Studio of Music for more tips and tricks. See you next time.